Hi guys, this is your cat Mingus back with updates about what's happening in CN. So here's the tea. For the past weeks when fireworks of my heart was on air, Yang Yang has been a subject of criticism for a number of things like labeling his acting on the show as greasy. Then there's also the way his character Song Yen was written, which some viewers describe as off-putting for his apparent crudeness and stinginess amongst other things. Douban ratings are down to 3.5. And aside from Wei Da Xun, who rose to fame because of the drama, so many are nitpicking the drama for a lot of things. For the most part, Yang Yang's character has been the recipient of most of the ridicule online. Aside from his acting, even things like how forcefully he kissed Meng Qin, to how their characters played with fire extinguishers, and why they had to leave the tap on while kissing were scrutinized. Wang Churan's character also didn't escape getting flack as some describe her character Meng Qin as hard to relate to, and the kind of woman who just thinks about love while ignoring all the red flags. With all that's been said, Yang Yang still isn't letting the bashing online get to him and says he has a clear conscience. As long as he does his very best in his acting projects, he has no regrets. That response drew even more criticism from those who feel he's not acknowledging his room for improvement. The show was also accused of trying to cut down Wei Da Xun's popularity by removing an important scene for his character where he hugs Meng Qin. With the drama's finale, Yang Yang had this to say. Goodbye Song Yin. Goodbye the sunset of Shirley Tai. Thank you for everyone's tolerance and companionship, criticisms, and suggestions this summer. See you next time. Meanwhile, Yang Yang's fans are still clamoring for his studio to take action against the online vitriol from some antis. Let's talk about the longest promise ending. In the original novel entitled Zhu Yan, author Tang Ye gave the main couple a happy ending after they defeated the big bad. Zhu Yan asked Xiao Zhan Shi Ying if the Kongsang Emperor must marry a woman from the Bai clan. She is saddened when he says yes, but Shi Ying doesn't intend to become emperor. He gives up the throne and goes on to live happily ever after with Zhu Yan. As for the drama, Ren Min previously hinted that it's full of joy, but is it really? Shi Ying and Zhu Yan finally get married, but she leaves the next day to try and stop Zhu Yan on her own. Zhu Yan dies after giving up the fight. With no physical body, the god of destruction now attempts to possess Zhu Yan, which is why Shi Ying kisses her to seal the evil within his own body. In the end, Shi Ying gets Zhu Yan to kill him. Before he dies, he makes a promise that whenever the snow flowers bloom, that's him coming back to see her. It's now the very end and we see the supporting characters get fulfilling endings, while Zhu Yan continues to wait for Shi Ying's promised return. She is at the place where they first met and he reappears for one final scene. It's one of those endings where you can choose to believe what you will, though it seems like a sad ending is more realistic given how he said he'll only see her every year when the flowers bloom rather than being back for good. He also doesn't speak in that final scene, perhaps because he's not really there. Shi Ying and Zhu Yan's fates echo that of Su Mo and Bai Ying in Mirror a Tale of Twin Cities. Like Shi Ying, the Sea King sacrificed himself to protect Bai Ying, and even the reunion and how the drama cuts off is similar. The Longest Promise is actually based on the prequel to Tang Yue's Mirror series. Lost You Forever is Tencent's next big drama after The Longest Promise. It's based on a popular novel by popular author Tong Hua starring popular actress Yang Zi and her many up-and-coming leading men that also includes Tan Jianzi as a special star. The show really seems poised to be the big winner this summer since it's already number one across different rankings like V-Linkage, Data Win, and Lighthouse. Single Day Broadcast is number one among the dramas these past two years, not to mention it's become the top drama on Tencent. The first time a drama crossed 30,000 on Tencent this year was Xiao Zhan's The Youth Memories in June. 
Lost You Forever has now crossed 31,000, just a little over two days after premiere. The show stays true to the book and it may have helped that Tong Hwa is one of the screenwriters. With so many love interests, the shipping has begun and Dong Wei's character is leading the polls. Sean Do and Lorinda Ho, daughter of late casino tycoon Stanley Ho, held a lavish destination wedding in Bali on April 18, 2023. The wedding, which Sean conceptualized and planned himself as a surprise for his now wife, quickly became the talk of the town. Lorinda Ho was recently on the Chinese reality show Heart Signal Season 6, where she caught up with actress Meng Ziyi, who asked, How are you lately? Are you happy? I saw your wedding on Weibo. Lorinda shared that they actually dated for quite a while, around four years before they married. However, she shares that they've both been busy with work after the wedding, and they haven't had the chance to see each other. When Meng Ziyi asked for how long, she responded, it's been a month. She adds he doesn't have a choice since he has to go on set right away for filming. Meanwhile, Lorinda also has work to do. She can't take time off to see him because it would take a day just to fly there and visit. The 32-year-old Hong Kong heiress broke into sea ent in recent years with different variety show appearances. If you're a fan of sea dramas, then you'll probably recognize Liu Yijun, who's often in supporting roles either as the villain or the good guy. He stars in the currently airing Imperfect Victim, which opens with a case around workplace sexual harassment. The show, directed by Yang Yang and written by Gao Shen and Ren Baoru, it delves deep into serious themes and the gray areas that shed light into Liu Yijun as the accused versus Jelly Lin's imperfect victim. A-list actress Zhou Xun plays the defense attorney who will be facing different cases along the way. It also stars Zhong Chu Xi as the cop, Chen Shu as the wife, Ying Er as a victim of domestic violence and Dong Jie as the mistress. With positive word of mouth about the performances and thoughtful writing, Imperfect Victim is now the number one TV drama on V Language. Liu Yijun, who's 53 years old, is gaining attention for his physique and charismatic acting, even his dancing. He's Cheng Gong, a man whose name literally translates to success, though his character is also a womanizing scumbag and accused in the series. His actor son Liu Yitong cheekily said he has PTSD now after watching the show and doesn't know how he can even look at his dad next time. He said, it can only mean that the acting is very very good. Last but not the least, it was also trending that Wang Churan and Liu Yifei look alike. What do you think?